I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Map Institute. In this video, we'll take up two trigonometric identities. We'll actually show you the best possible solution. Now, there are many ways of solving or proving trigonometric identities. I've seen students going through this process, but not effectively proving them in the shortest possible way or the best possible way. That is what you're going to learn here. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. So the two trigonometric identities for you are, I'm calling it question number six and seven, since uh, we have already dealt with the first five in another video. Question number six is, 4 over cos square x minus 5 equals to 4 tan square x minus 1. And 7 is secant theta tan theta equals to sine cube theta plus cos square theta times sine theta divided by cos square theta. So I'm removing something which is additional. So I hope uh, you can actually prove these identities and then watch my video for the suggestion. Now, these were the test questions of one of our students and I've seen the solution. It seems they go from left side to right side and they are able to solve this over half a page. Normal strategy is what? Normal strategy. Whenever you see such equations, you convert tan theta into sine over cos, correct? You may also convert secant theta as 1 over cos theta. And then you may use the trigonometric identities which basically relate to the Pythagorean identity and most commonly used is sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. And that way, you could actually show that left-hand side equals to right-hand side. While this approach is not bad, however, it takes long time. And in test, time is critical. So let us see, how do we do one by one? So After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandilani. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there. Join our classes and excel. Now, let's explore the best possible solution. So, we'll prove this identity 4 over cos square x minus 5 equals to 4 tan square x minus 1. So we are going to take help of Pythagorean identity of course and the one which I have selected is basically solving the right hand side writing tan square x as what? Correct? You know the identity. What is 1 plus tan square x? Well 1 plus tan square x is secant square x. Correct? And therefore, you can write after rearranging tan square x equals to secant square x minus 1. Right? And you also know that secant x is reciprocal of cos x. So, using that, we could actually simplify the right hand side. So, let me rewrite the right hand side this time. So, right hand side, which is 4 times tan square x minus 1 can be written as 4 times. Instead of tan square x, what will I write? Secant square x minus 1. Makes sense, right? So, let me rewrite this as 4 times secant square x minus 1. And we already have minus 1 here. Now, what is secant? Secant is 1 over cos. And therefore, 
I could write this as 4 times instead of secant square x, 1 over cos square x, right, minus 1 and then minus 1 outside. Clear? Now you can see the result. Let's do the distributive property. Multiplying by 4, we get the left hand side as equal to what? Well, 4 over cos square x and minus 1 and there is already minus 1 outside. So, minus 1 times 4 is minus 4 and do you see that? We get 4 over cos square x minus 5 which is the left hand side. So, that is how we have shown the or proven the identity. So, see many times you forget to utilize the trigonometric Pythagorean identity which relates tan with secant. Now, that is very powerful. As you can see in this particular example, very easily we can prove this in few statements. Perfect? Correct. Now, let us move on and take the solution of the next question. So, the next question for you was question number 7, which is secant theta tan theta equals to sine cube theta plus cos square theta x was extra, right? Sine theta, right? Okay, divide by cos square theta. Now, how can we do that? Well, this is relatively simple. We could begin with the right hand side and then show the left hand side, right? And easily we can prove it, right? See, or we can also begin with the left hand side. So, either way, we can start from one and get to the other. Let me show you the way which. Uh, not normally done. Let me begin with the left hand side. Students do start from here. We have secant theta times tan theta, correct? And as you know, secant theta is reciprocal of what? Reciprocal of cos theta. And tan is the ratio of sine theta and cosine theta. And that gives you sine theta over cos square theta. However, what do you notice here is something like sine cube theta. Now, how do you get sine cube theta? Hmm, that's tricky, right? How do we solve this puzzle? Well, you know one thing, which is, what is sine square theta plus cos square theta? Well, always this is equal to 1. So, we can just multiply by 1. Multiplying by 1 doesn't make a difference, right? And so, once we do that, then see what happens. Well, in the numerator, I get sine theta times, instead of 1, I am going to write what? Well, sine square theta plus cos square theta. That is what I am going to put in here. Make sense? So, if I do that, I get what? Sine square theta plus cos square theta within the brackets over the denominator of cos square theta. So, denominator is already matching, opening the brackets matches the whole thing on the right hand side, which is sine cube theta plus cos square theta sine theta divided by cos square theta. Do you see that? And that is the right hand side. So, we have shown left hand side is equal to sine square, uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side, which is sine cube theta plus cos square theta sin theta divided by cos square theta. And what did we use? We used the reciprocal identity, right? And the tangent quotient ratio, correct? And Pythagorean identity to prove it. I hope that makes sense. So, in few minutes, we have solution of both very important questions from a test paper. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope your concepts are absolutely clear. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Feel free to share your views and suggestions. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.